All season long, we've heard the comparison between those Bulls and these Warriors. Warriors have put up amazing numbers all season. That number 73, that's the only one that matters tonight. An electric atmosphere here at Oracle Arena. Many of these fans have been here for hours. Dub Nation, as they call themselves, out in full force. They have witnessed brilliant basketball all season. Tonight, they have a chance to witness history. Green off the Randolph miss. Green finds Curry, open three, puts it in. Curry another three, got it. But if you're Jordan Farmer guarding Curry, you can't try to shoot the gap and give him space. Quickly down the other end is Draymond Green. As Barnes can't connect, Barnes had a terrific game the last time they played on Saturday. 25 points, 14 boards, Curry to the basket. Blocked by Barnes, but a foul as Curry goes down. But Steve said that Judd Bushler, Poway's finest, was actually taking credit for 10 wins in that Bulls <laughs> great season. So Jordan was ready for 15, Bushler <laughs> for 10, and Curry, oh my goodness. From about five feet beyond the arc, and it's a five-point lead. Curry now with three threes. He's five away from 400. Bogut with the block. Green back to Curry. Bang! Curry again! what a lot of these D-League guys have shown. Jermichael Green, I think, has shown up well. <laughs> but why are they shooting the gap on Curry? I... They're giving him space. Thompson, again. The onslaught continues. Lead up to 20. They've got 12 three-pointers. Bad pass. Green quickly ahead to Iguodala. Back out Curry. Curry for three. It's good. His seventh of the game. The rookie Munford on Curry. Heard Dave Hager tell about it. It's a good learning experience for his rookie. Thompson catch and shoot again. Play Thompson from downtown. Bullet pass. Curry finishes. What a look from Andre Iguodala. 71st half points for Golden State. If this team was healthy, Memphis, they're a beast to play. They are a tough team. And they play differently than a lot of teams now in the league. Old-fashioned way as Curry does it. 400 three-pointers in a season. Curry drives off the glass and in. Barnes misses. We do have this fascination with round numbers. Although 73 is not a round number. Curry hits again! Stephen Curry from way downtown! His ninth three-pointer of the game. Curry floats it in underhanded and Dave Yeager calls timeout. Another Curry explosion. If I was the Golden State Warriors and their ownership and organization, I would set a date right now and retire Steph Curry's jersey number. He's been that great. I'm not gonna wait. We can have a celebration 10, 15, 20 years from now. But right now, what he's done to change this organization is absolutely incredible. As Thompson misses badly. Curry gets the rebound and backs it in. And that obviously is so you. Warriors have seven turnovers here in the third after having seven the entire first half. Nice feed inside. Iguodala. Curry drives. Blocked but foul by Barnes. And he's got 40 points tonight. For the 13th time this season, he's hit the 40-point mark. Munford shot can go. Azili. Seven boards for Azili. Curry drives. Scoop layup is good. 40 
three for Curry. Curry catches, three-pointer, bang! I gotta have a talk with Xavier Mumford after the game, staying on Curry's body. It's official number 73. The greatest regular season in NBA history now belongs to the 2016 Golden State Warriors. Steph, congratulations on what has been a truly extraordinary individual season for you. You cross the 403 platform, you go for that efficient 450, 40, 90, and you become the first guard since Michael Jordan to average 30 and shoot over 50%. What has driven you to this level of play? Uh, blessed to play this game and have great teammates to sit up with every single night. So I, I try to keep getting better, uh, keep pushing myself, and try not to have any kind of limit. And that's that's what's uh, you know motivates me every single night. What kind of character has been required from your guys in the pursuit of this historic mark? I mean, that's that's everything for us. We have. There's so many guys that sacrifice, they, everybody has a, a role in this team and they come in every night with that focus of uh, playing that role in the best of their ability and just knowing that's going to be the best uh, way for us to win games. So practice days, travel days, game days, all, all being locked in and tied in together, um, that's what it takes. In what way did the pursuit of this mark help you in what will ultimately be your goal, which is a championship? How did this pursuit help that? I mean, it just keeps us focused down the stretch. We don't have uh, any, any room for error. Uh, you know, we're getting every team's best shot. And for us to keep that playoff kind of mentality and that playoff focus for our ultimate goal, which is obviously a championship, these last two weeks have been uh, mentally and physically challenging. So uh, I think it's made us better. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be fresh for this weekend. It's hard to imagine you getting to 79 without that 24-0 start. So you think back to some of the comments made after last year's championship. Thank you to Festus for not letting me be a part of that. <laughs> okay, can you share that note? No, I don't want okay, to. Okay, no worries, no worries. <laughs> it's hard to imagine, Steph, getting a 79 without, excuse me, 73 and nine, without that 24-0 start. So I want to go back to some of the comments made after the championship and the MVP vote and all that. How much of what was said about your championship a season ago drove this group to where you are? Kept everybody uh, motivated over the summer, I'll say. So, um, I mean, at the end of the day, when we set up a training camp, it was obviously talked about and this and that. Um, and we wanted to have a, a great start to the season, which is what we did with that 24-0 that, uh, start. And then from there, just you know, raise the bar of uh, expectation for ourselves. That's really. All, all it's about is the expectation we put on ourselves in that locker room that uh, we don't need any, we don't need any extra uh, motivation, but we're, we're seeming to be getting it a lot. Your smile at the start of that question told me all I needed to know. Thank you so much, Steph. Yeah,